today on my youtube channel i'm your girl robin nicole the inspiration specialist and i'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose and i'm gonna be in and out today y'all but i wanted to tell y'all this thing so y'all lately like the last couple weeks i could just really feel like a whole bunch of just movement you know like spiritual movement you know from god in my life and this has been happening in the form of dreams. It's been happening in the form of visions. I have not been at liberty to share them all, but you guys know if you've been following me, I've been sharing some of them quite frequently as of late, but it's way more than that that's been going on. Oftentimes this happens for me when other people are either dreaming about me or kind of pulling on me, you know, in a spiritual way, so to speak. So there was an instance though that just happened this week and I wanted to tell somebody because God definitely told me that it was going to be something to bless and help someone who genuinely has been trying to hear from God. And you just like, God, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what's going on, Father. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you kind of just been at this place with the Lord where you're thinking, y'all. Okay, so I'm coming back. I'm sorry, y'all. I was trying to stop the phone from wobbling. Um, and my friend told me that when I'm on my videos, it's like I'm doing this and all of that all the time. So I'm trying to be cognizant of that so that I could uh, be more focused when I'm talking to y'all. My bad for that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just want to say a couple of things to you that God had given to me in a, a combination of visions and dreams. I have two more things coming up. One is a vision and it's called, excuse me, one is about a dream and I'm going to give you the backstory on the dream. Okay. And that one is called raining bread. And then there's one more that's coming, and that is from a vision that God had given me, and I want to share that with you guys as well, right? Okay, but today, I made a post on my Instagram. If you don't know my Instagram, follow me on IG. It's Robin Nicole K, R-O-B-I-N-I-C-O-L-E-K. And I want you to follow me on there. I made some posts, which are usually preludes to my videos, right? So this thing in particular that I want to touch on is... Um, I was saying how people can talk about you behind your back, but God is going to bless you in front of their faces, right? I'm going it again. People could talk about you. They can accost you. They can say things about you. They can treat you horribly behind your back, but in front of their faces, God is going to show up and show out. And he's also going to show that the enemy schemes and the things that he tried to do to you to throw you off and to quote unquote, take you out of the running, it didn't work. So it's a couple of things I want to say. It's three, it's three things that got me very plain to me that I need to say specifically in this particular way for some people who have been genuinely seeking God's voice on some questions and some things that I know he sent me in the spirit realm to confirm for you, right? So the first thing was this. The first thing was that if it is from God, it's yours, right? It is absolutely yours. And one of the things that I kept seeing was a peacock. And me and one of my girls from high school talk about this is like, she's like, when I walk in a room, I'm peacocking. And people are like, what does that mean? But basically, you know, like when the peacock rolls up and then it spreads his wings and his wings just, just boom, just out there, just gorgeous, just out there, just slamming everybody. It's the most breathtaking thing. But it's like, if, if a peacock rolls up on a scene, it doesn't matter what other animal is in his vicinity, the beauty of the peacock and the peacock, the pe excuse me, the peacock expressing itself by spreading its wings, it is a game changer, right? It's like it, it takes everybody's breath away and it makes everybody stop playing with the puppy. It makes them stop petting the tiger and it looks at the peacock because the peacock is taking over. So what God is saying is that some of you are going to be peacocking. Some of you are going to go from hiding in the back and cooling and chilling, and you're going to walk in spaces and you are going to naturally peacock. That's the beautiful thing about this word. You're not overkilling it. You're not trying to do it. You're genuinely not. You are just going to be peacocking. You're going to walk in the room. You're going to walk in the spot. And guess what? You are just going to be that girl. You're going to be that guy. You're not going to be another person. You're not going to try to stunt. And live your life in a way that other people uh, see fit. You're going to just be you. And it is enough. You know, I don't know who needs to hear that. But it is enough. It's like God wants you to be very, very clear about that. Right? He wants you to understand that you peacock and you coming into your own. That is what, that's what he has set up for you this season. Okay? It is what he has uh, set up for you this, e this season. Excuse me. And it's important that you do not... Uh, 
disconnect from that. Don't don't feel like because things haven't been in a way in so long that it won't be that way now. Like, don't do that. <laughs> like, genuinely don't do that because that's not God. You, you, you will be peacocking. And the people who try to do things behind your back, they're going to get dealt with. That's not for you to do, though. That's a disclaimer. Don't you try to put your hands on it. Don't, and don't you try to do anything to interrupt. God got it covered. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I just was like, mm. y'all know how it is when you be like, mm -hmm. when God do something, you be like, mm, I know. That I'm sorry. That's just so silly. It just made me do that because I'm like, yo, I can see it so clearly. Like people just be taking God's children to play with and it's y'all like, yo, listen, it's time out for that. Like God is not with that foolishness no more, y'all. It's been real quiet. And something I need to say, which brings me into part two, is in this winter time, this winter season for those of us who are in a season of winter. Spring does not start until like I think around March 22nd, 23rd or something like that, 21st. So you still have some time. We're halfway through February and then there's the whole first three weeks of March. So I saw clearly within the next four weeks, you know what I'm saying? Like we're, it's still winter blessings. And I kept hearing like winter wonderland. You're still going to enter a winter, winter wonderland. And this is the thing you have to understand. It doesn't even matter if it feels hot outside or if the temperature is contrary to it being winter. Let me tell you, when it's winter, it's a cold place. And usually when we, when we are in winter, we hibernate. But this is why this is a specific word. Because even in hibernation, God is going to make you peacock, baby, like it is high time in the middle of the summer. Okay? Because God can do that, right? God can do that. So that's something I want you to be clear about and something that I want you to understand. Because at the end of the day, if you don't understand that despite all those things happening, it can still go the way it was intended to go, even though from the onset and what it looks like from the outside it doesn't seem like it could go that way it can and it will go that way and that's that's your bit of encouragement like you have to understand these things are very very clear and very specific to you because god means business about you okay he means business about you so when you come into this season and to this winter wonderland don't get it twisted about how it technically feels outside it is genuinely god saying listen Right when it's cold, people are, you know, trying to bundle up. I might just have you out here, free spirit out here, just doing whatever. And, and I'll be getting the glory because you're willing to be used in a time when other people don't necessarily want to be. Other people are kind of feeling like, yeah, God, nah, like I'm cool right now. I'm straight right now. I don't really want to, you know, be bothered right now. And God is like, nah, for my good and faithful servants who have been chilling and rocking with me, I got them right now. I got them. I always got them. But for right now, I want I want to start doing some things in their lives early on in the, in the new year still. Because we're still in the new year. God wants you to start seeing, <clears throat> excuse me, he wants you to start seeing the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He wants you to start seeing that. And the third thing, the third thing, there's going to be a rumble. There is, y'all, right now, <clears throat> there is a rumble in the spirit realm. And that rumble is going to make it into the natural. Okay, but here's the thing, for those of you who have been getting warnings, for those of you who have been hearing from God quietly, where you're like, man, like I kind of feel like something going on, but you, you either was afraid to feel like it was a bad thing, or you're like, man, I think this is not good. What you were feeling was a rumbling. And let me tell you something about a rumble. A rumble is temporary, it's sharp, but it's powerful and it shakes things up. But guess what? If you are already prepared doing what you have to do, baby, it could be a rumble. But when that rumble stops, you are still in position. You are still in stealth mode. You still that <clears throat> in that space where you don't have to do anything other than what you're doing right then. When that rumble stops and everybody tumbling and flying all over the place and can't keep their composure, you out there solid. You out here chilling. I mean, just like, whoa, oh, that was a rumble? Mm, I bet. That rumble don't affect you at all. Okay? So that's the three words. You will be peacocking. You will still enjoy your winter wonderland. Excuse me, wonderland. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry about that. <clears throat> I need to get some water. So I hate to do that, but I'm going to have to wrap up because I really just need uh, some water. I'm pretty parched and I hadn't had anything to drink in a minute. I'm so sorry. But y'all know I like to be transparent. I'm probably not going to edit that out if I don't. I'm sorry, but I'm super excited and I wanted y'all to get this first message for today. Um, but yeah, there's going to be that rumble. And when that rumble happens, that's a wrap. When that rumble happens, that's a wrap. It's going to shake everything up and you will still be standing tall when it's over. So you're like, okay, well, I don't know if she's talking to me. I'm going to tell you 
two things to let you know if this is your word because if you you know usually i say well if you have to question it now nah, that's not it well you know sometimes you do want a question to be on the safe side i'm not mad at that i'm not mad at anything you do as you walk out your own personal relationship with the lord so he can make th make things plain for you but the first thing is this for a while you have been feeling like something has been shifting like something just you know you might not have been able to put your finger on it but you knew something was going on that's one sign and number two Within a, probably within the last few weeks, maybe I'm going to say probably since the new year, God has been impressing upon you to fast. Now, let me give you this disclaimer. Not the normal fast that everybody does at the beginning of the year and for the whole month of January. I'm not talking about that one. But it's more like in addition to that or separate from that, God made you do another fast. This is These are going to be the people that this is really connected to <clears throat> Excuse me, in this season. So... Uh, with that being said, that's all I have for y'all now. But thank you guys for listening. And I'm going to be back with two more messages um, on why to inspire. I hope you are too.